is not really fun anymore, right? This isn't really drama. This is just like, just a messed up situation. He's getting doxxed by the Boruto community. Now I'm officially suing the individual. Oh, this is kind of funny. He's actually pursuing legal action, huh? But there's a quick update from the issue that happened regarding, you know, the Dan Da Dan post. We made a whole video about it, you know. There was a risque, quote-unquote risque scene, right? Where uh, he basically posted that this has a mending animation, but it had, you know, the girl about to get grapes in the kind of screenshot, which was not the focus of the animation, but people can kind of take that and kind of go with it. Let's see what he has to say. So I have been doxxed. Ooh. My private information has been leaked online. My full name, where I live, pictures of my house, pictures of my dead brother's grave. Like, at this point, it's just not even just fun drama, right? Like, pictures of his house, dead brother's grave. Like, this is some really serious shit. And mocking my dead brother's grave on top of that. And then, on top of all... I just realized the Twitter account that I'm seeing right now. You see what this says, right? All of this, continuous amounts of death threats. This video is being used as a paper trail for I can show to my lawyer, also okay. the court system, because I am going to be filing a lawsuit against the individuals that are responsible for- And this is not just an empty threat considering what we just witnessed with the leaks online. Remember, completely off topic, maybe not so much, where manga leaks are happening, Japan got fed up with it, they requested to Twitter, give us these fucking account details, and Twitter obliged, and now, regarding how the government to kind of handle it, like, you can kind of pursue legal action that way. For Chibi, now he's actually being the one gonna sue these random Twitter accounts, I guess. For doxing my private information. Now, as you can see on screen, I already have a few people that, you know, is not necessarily going to be potentially in this lawsuit, but I do want to showcase the actions of what I've been going through throughout this entire ordeal in the last 48 hours or so. And, like, all I did was search Chibi on Twitter. Look at this shit. I just searched Chibi. <laughs> this is the scene that they're talking about. And, yeah, there is definitely... Mental gymnastics, some reaching you can do, judging by just one frame of the screenshot, and then to witch hunt him saying he's like, you know, all these different words, but to say this kind of shit, like, are, are we just, what are we doing? Like, is anime that serious? Are people going that fucking crazy online? Are children that, that mentally deranged that people just say this shit, it just casually gets to 400 likes, more people saying, where do I sign up? Like, that's, that's insane. That's, that, that, that's, that's, that, that's, that's like fucking insane. You got a banger and I didn't? Fuck Elon, man. I, I guess this just implies that they're literally just impression farming right now. It's just dumb children clout farming, but then they take it to a next level without truly understanding the consequences at hand. So ever since the first episode of Dawn to Dawn came out and I uploaded my video on it this past Wednesday. So as you can see here, this is one individual partaking in the mockery of my brother's death. This is very funny to me, by the way. Gushing over magical girls, hype, season two. Bleach. I fucking hate my audience for not letting me watch Bleach. This is on you. Whatever. This is oh justice. This is actually fucking divine justice. Death. We have an individual that is hoping that I basically get uh, my brain stem stomped in and, sp and my corpse is spit on. They went on to have a lot of likes. The post is still up, by the way, not been terminated or violated any Twitter ro uh, rules or anything like that. We have people making false thumbnail images of me. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, I remember this guy, right? We literally covered the video where people are... Again, th there was an earlier picture of the screenshot of the Dandaran frame that he used, but then this is, come on now, right? Like, come on. Like, you're, you're now, you're just literally fabricating evidence and trying to literally spread, spread misinformation just for cheap clicks online. Me trying to slander me, saying I made content like this, and then trying to say, yeah, I made a video on this, when in reality, I did not. Then we have a post like this where someone put a petition out to stone me to death. A.K.A. there was 
crazy thousands thing. of people that like this post this was an early on screenshot sadly i didn't get a late stage screenshot but the last time i saw the post is likes before it got removed thanks to violations of twitter's terms and service it had 12,000 likes aka 12,000 people were wishing for my death and, and that's the scary thing right and if you look at the ratio here right 3,700 people are supporting, 57 are just haters. Video got 22k views. Look at the tweet. Video got 178 impression, 1,000, right? Nearly 6.8 people liked it. But it truly goes to show how many deranged people exist online. And Twitter is just like the perfect platform for this shit to just harbor and just like be a fucking swamp. It's such a fucking cancerous platform. That's why I never use it. I literally only use this shit just to reach out to YouTube support. There is no fucking value to be had. There is way too many deranged retards out there that think that they're being funny, that think they're being edgy at the same time. They would never say this shit in public. They would never say this shit man to man. It's literally just a bunch of stupid children that are so fucking depraved of anything fulfilling in their lives. Their parents don't fucking educate them because life is fucking hard and they're fucking working multiple jobs. These kids are lonely and isolated and can only have superficial, you know, shallow relationships by talking to people online, having these mental therapy sessions on Twitter. And it's just this crazy fucking cycle of deranged retards chasing clout to get their brains being pumped up for a dopamine rush. At the cost of someone's dead brother, at the cost of someone's entire security and privacy. His entire family and, like, what, identity leaked online? For what? Over a fucking anime picture? Like, what? And so, we escalate all this that's been happening for the last few days to the point to where my private information has been doxxed, and now the frets or- Now, the doxing, I am pretty sure people already knew him by his first name and last name. Here's the thing in America, right? If you have a first and last name that's public, it's pretty easy to just- find you there's different public data offered by the government in terms of house listing and different assets you may own through your first and last name i'm not exactly sure how they have gotten every little detail but if you as a creator kind of like give your fans your information it's not a good look i'm not blaming chibi for this but at the same time i'm explaining to you this is why i will never fucking meet any of you in public it blows my mind that Nicholas Light goes out to do fan meetups, being such a polarizing but such a popular guy. Like, bro, I'm not having any of that shit. 0 .0, like 99% of you are going to be completely chill. But here's the thing about numbers, right? Let's think about 1% of people hate you and 99% love you. Let's say out of 100 people, we applied that percentage ratio. 99 people love you, 1 person hates you. Okay. Now let's scale that up to 1,000. What is, how does that work now? Now 10 people hate you. Let's scale that up to 10,000. 100 people hate you. This small percentage is actually quite significant when applied at scale. And for someone like Chibi who has 461 subs, K subs, right? For someone to check Chibi that has so many, you know, let, 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 let's look at them, right? 174,000, right? It's a scary number. There's that many mentally deranged people that will behave like this. And that small percentage will always ruin it for everyone else. I will never, never give you anything that could fuel anything like this. Fuck no. Full name, my location, anything, fan meetups, go fuck yourselves. Or death threats that I have been receiving are all more real. Very, very much real when someone posts pictures of my house and my brother's grave. FYI, I don't like to talk about this much. I talked about it briefly a long time ago because Anime Snob, can't believe I mentioned that man's name again, he mocked my brother's death. Anime Snob, is this the guy that only makes chibi hate videos? Anime Snob. Is it this guy? Most popular video. No, there's a couple channels that does this shit. There, there's, actually a, there's actually a lot of deranged motherfuckers that despises Chibi. A lot, oh, I remember this guy as well. Do you guys remember this guy? I remember watching him growing up sometime. But, um, yeah. As well, they committed suicide. 
And obviously, I'm assuming this individual is probably from that rabid group from a long time ago. I could be wrong. We'll find out when uh, the lawsuit gets underway. But the point of the matter is, is that um, I am a little bit concerned about my safety because obviously my girlfriend lives with me. I have two dogs that I love and a cat as well. Obviously, I'm concerned. I mean, definitely. Let's not jinx anything. I think that Chibi will be perfectly fine. I hope you'll be fine. God bless his soul. I hope that nothing will happen. And I think that most people doing this shit, obviously it's not a good fucking look to be a dox like that. But most of these people, they're just stupid children that would never be able to do this shit in public. There is no way anyone could ever fucking follow through. They're just a bunch of stupid fucking weebs. Definitely after having... 10 plus thousand people wishing for my death and literally you can go into any of my recent tweets and look at the quote retweets and seeing people actively justifying death threats against me, it's very clear that I do have some cause for concern. So thankfully, I live in Tennessee. I don't live in uh, California or anything. I'm able to legally own a gun. <laughs> my man's dressed up! Oh, shit! <laughs> Uh, when was the last time a creator did this? I think it was Moist Critical, right? Wait, wait, wait. It was Moist Critical, right? I remember, I, I, there, there was like some drama with Charlie and Sneeko. <laughs> and they were talking how to like... like he, he's like being corrected on what a fucking gun is, what a Glock or something. He brought a gun. God bless Tennessee, brother. America. I've owned this for a while. And I'm going to tell you right now. If anyone wants to pull any stupid games, you're going to win stupid prizes. That's all Jeez. I'm going to say. What I will say... <laughs> this anime can't be this serious, bro. Holy shit. Next video title. A stalker tried to, you know, raid my house. I shot him. Like, what the fuck are we doing right now? Can we just watch Dan 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 in peace? Can we just watch anime and talk about stupid shit in peace, man? Say now, going one step further, I'm going to end this video here for legal reasons as well. Okay. But I am going to be protecting myself. I you better, am definitely yes. someone that will be watching. And if, you know, now I got the evidence, I got screenshots, those that, you know, are involved in this, you will definitely be hearing from my lawyer. You reap what you sow, man. And I'm not done yet. I want to check out some of those tweets. I want to actually check some of those tweets. Uh, how would I do that? But excuse me. I... These kind of tweets, right? Both to fans and others trying to dox me now, but oh, I'm evil for an anime post. Um, this is obviously the Boruto guy. And me showing this information, I don't think matters since so many people have already seen it and it's not actual full details and Chibi himself has quoted it. Naruto biggest meat rider. <laughs> Mask off moment. Do I rage bit intentionally? Blah, blah, blah. And this guy just basically posts this shit. Nice. E-dating business. E <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Naruto's biggest meat rider, Sam Mad X Naruto. Don't take anything I say to heart. One Piece is mid. E dating prices. 10 minutes, $20. Template. Good morning. What the fuck is happening? Like, this is a level of mental illness. I don't, e I can't even comprehend. What, does an industry exist like this online? Like, people actually use this shit? Like, what the fuck? It's just mentally ill. Naruto enjoyers, bro. Holy fuck. Nice. E dating business getting cooked by a dude with the fucking rudiest profile picture, bro. I'm crying, bro. These geek something really taking your pins seriously. Like, bro, what? And that's the best part. Just a bunch of children that just act like it's just a joke, bro. It's just a fucking joke. What is this more shit, bro? It's it's just it's just crazy. Stuff like this. Congrats, you found famous birthdays. This dude pushing 30 acting like this. But like, what about you? 
And you a whole adult acting like this pot meat kettle. Pot meat kettle means like you're basically a hypocrite. Like you're calling another dude acting like this. You are literally being a clown right now. I'm not an adult. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It, like, this is what I'm talking to you about. Once you, like, realize who is actually behind these random anime profile pictures on social media, here's the thing, right? Like, there's a lot of little children that talk shit on TikTok as well. And one day, uh, when I, make, I used to make TikToks, I clicked on a random profile picture that was, like, talking shit. And then I realized it was a child. It was a nine-year-old kid talking shit. And at that point, everything made sense. Why am I getting upset? These are dumb, retard children that has no fucking education or any type of fulfillment parenthood. Just a bunch of dumb, stupid children that are hiding behind, you know, random pictures on social media and talking shit. And when you contextualize these people as not being like reasonable, grown up adults, reasonable members of society, and you realize that it's someone that is just saying, I'm not an adult proudly, it just makes so much fucking sense, right? It's crazy. It's actually fucking crazy. Is there anything else that we can check out? Said it's time time again. They ain't right in the head. Literal crazy. I agree. There is something fucked in their head. Now I know your real name. That, that's been public information for a like, long time. By the definition of doxic, this ain't it. Fair. <laughs> So he co-retweeted him, and then he's like, oh no, Chibi co-retweeted me, oh no, I gotta say something. <clears throat> By the definition of doxing, this ain't it, fam. Trying to see all serious, you know, and like not scared. You know what you're trying to do? Don't try and act like this is a gotcha. You realize you're intentionally trying to bring me harm, right? Like, this is illegal. If this is a legitimate dox, like, you get a felony. It's public info, dumbass, it ain't doxing. Yeah, and you're lucky it's public, because if not, I'd sue you instantly. I promise you that. It's not toxic, fam. You sound stupid. Like, it's just, just over and over and over. And here's the thing. So what's the point then? To show that he's pushing 30 acting like this. Acting like what? What, what, what is he acting like? That's the thing. These children, these mentally ill children, have no grounds to stand on. They want to just talk shit and they want to farm engagement and go viral on Twitter because they've never accomplished anything in their lives and random internet point that does not translate to actual monetary value. That's what they fucking live for. And they grasp at straws and they think that Chibi is somehow a pedo for posting that Dan Dan picture. They don't critically think about anything. They immediately jump to conclusions and try to defame him like this. That's all there is happening. What you could not even logically like write out your thought on what this even fucking means. This is just like this default NPC answer. Unk pushing 30. <laughs> like, what are you doing? What are you fucking doing? You are retarded. Like, holy shit. And we could go over and over and over. But this is the current state. This is the current state of the quote unquote anime community on Twitter. I can't really say that these are just bad faith actors and in any community there's always going to be that small percentage of the most radical, the most retarded, the most just byproducts of just <laughs> unplanned parenthood. And this is what happens man. I'm glad that Chibi is trapped and protected and we will be, we will be following this news as it develops. And this isn't really fun drama. I'd like to make it as entertaining as possible, but a person getting doxxed, a person's family, family members, dead brothers, like getting mocked. This is just disgusting at this point.